Hey guys, welcome to another Ice Soldier video. Here I'm going to show you how you can set up a MacBook or any other Mac to uh, HD TV. Now if you're trying to set up to a monitor though, um, it's going to be a little different because what you're going to need, you're still going to need like this cord here with for a MacBook and you're going to need a mini display port to DVI. If you want to set it up to a monitor, you need this cord and then you need something from your DVI or to another DVI or DVG, to whatever your monitor is, and you just plug it in that way. Now, if you want to HD TV for a MacBook, you need the mini display port. If you have MacBook Pro or iMac, just look at what your uh, what you have on the side there. If it's just a display port, then you just take the display port to DVI. Um, so for the MacBook. Here we go, we're going to take a mini display port to DVI adapter, or VGA, does not matter. And you're going to need this as well, it's a DVI to HDMI cord. If you bought the VGA cord, then you need a VGA to HDMI. So whatever adapter you buy, you buy the same as this. Alright, so here we go, let's open this up. All right, so here's the little adapter piece here. Plastic up on the, the top top here. And then you need your HDMI cord here. So what you do now, and so you go over to the side of your, your MacBook here and add that for an external wireless keyboard on that. So you take your adapter piece, you plug it right into here. Now I have 12 feet of this. Um, it was $5 more for 12 feet so I went for it. So let's undo this. Once you got this undone, you take this piece here, you plug it into your wireless adapter. This. Screw it in if you wish. Um, now you grab your HDMI port here. Go up to your, your TV and then then you just look for your HDMI port. I I have an extra one just on the side here, so I'm gonna plug it into there. So now. Once you have that all plugged in, like so, you just turn on your TV. MacBook went blue there for a second because it recognizes another source. Pick your HDMI cord here. Both both screens on the MacBook and uh, TV went blue. All right, so I took my camera off the tripod just because it's really weird working with it at the moment. Um, so after you you got your monitor and I said go to system preferences, click on uh, displays here, and you'll notice you'll get another one on your uh, TV. Move your cursor over, pick your pick your resolution, and then it'll automatically change to it. Right. All right. Now we can go back over here, um, go arrangement, you can choose where your TV is at, mine's kind of like that. So now you can you know, open up like stuff like that, I'll just go into it. Yeah, 
go like that. For me, I don't like it like that. I, I just like to. I'll change this. I get this side by side. Feels so much easier and just right over. Anyway, so that's what the display is. Another one is mirror images. So you're watching a movie on here or something like that, and you want to watch it on a bigger screen. You know, you just got some TV shows from iTunes or something like that, and you want to watch it on a bigger TV. Hit mirror screens. You know, while you do both, the only thing is, even using the HDMI cord, audio is not supported, so the audio is still going to come out of your MacBook. So, you shouldn't hook up speakers to your MacBook or something like that to give it that better um, audio, audio feel for your videos and what you're watching on your TV. Um, let's go back to here. Let's take that off because I don't like like that. You can also, if you want your TV to be in your main display, say you're just doing, sitting around, you want to use that, just drag this toolbar right here from there to here. Now, this is your main display. You have your movie, your, your uh, apps right here, you know, your dock. It, then you can use this for all your work. But because I'm up close, I'll keep it like that. So that's that's it for displays. Like I said, audio is still can come out your MacBook, so you want to set up some more speakers and that. As well as what I bought when I got my MacBook was I got a wire, wireless keyboard and mouse, so I can go sit back and you know do everything from my TV. And everything comes up bigger, editing videos, Photoshop, it all looks a lot nicer. Same videos, if I got iTunes movie I rented, bought, shows, looks a lot better. Especially this high depth shows. Um, so, thanks for watching I showed you a video. This is how you set up your MacBook, Mac Pro, whatever you got, iMac, to HD TV. And it cost me, I think it was $60 for the, the two cords.